now, Milwaukee, let's ride the hop. <laughs> One year ago, Milwaukee streetcar, the hop, got off and running on the rails. Making its way from the intermodal station on St. Paul to Cathedral Square in the east side at zero cost to riders. It's been a fast year, a busy year. A year later, we took a ride with Mayor Tom Barrett. It's a people connector. It, it's really an economic growth tool, um, and it's been very successful in its first year. He says in its first 11 months, they had 740,000 riders, which surpassed expectations. The mayor says between federal dollars and sponsorships, riders can keep hopping around the city for free. Do you feel like you've had to prove something to the people who, you know, want the streetcar to fail? Um, obviously, but that's part of my job is, is to, to let people know what our vision was. And as I said, when we propose this, it's really about economic growth, too. And you're seeing a tremendous amount of investment in or near the line. As for the hop's future, he wants to expand the route to Bronzeville, north of downtown and Walker's Point to the south. But the Common Council's not on board. The bottom line is that it's already losing money. There's a good chance that taxpayer money is going to have to go to subsidize it. And where do we go from here? As for those who ride the hop daily, like Darren Gregory, he fully embraces the streetcar in Milwaukee. I think it's great because uh, I used to live in Chicago and it just makes things a lot more convenient and easier to get around. In Milwaukee, Hillary Vince, WISN 12 News. And Potawatomi Casino Hotel continues to sponsor the hop to make it free for you to ride. The mayor also says federal grants cover yearly operating costs, which are several million dollars.